Denver, we know, is white hot for startups, but one man is working on an app that's different than all the rest, specifically for people struggling with mental health problems. Kelly Worthman talked with that inventor. Kelly, so many people suffer. This really could help them. Absolutely, Jim. The CDC says 25% of adults here in the United States have a mental illness. And this time of year around the holidays, it can be really difficult, especially for those who suffer from seasonal depression. So a Denver man created an app in hopes of helping those people and that could also create a network for those people to help others. On a device that's almost always within arm's reach is a new way for those struggling with mental wellness to reach out. You could say I'm searching for anxiety, for instance. Jeff Dorchester of Denver co-created irelate.org. It's a sort of chat room app allowing users to anonymously engage with others who can relate to their issues, such as PTSD or depression. We see this in other support groups like AA, where it's a group of people that create a small community of trust and they're there for each other. Jeff Absolutely. came up with the app after battling depression uh, himself. He uh, says friend. though the real aha moment came when a friend tried to commit suicide. When I started talking to him about this and saying would this have been something that would be useful to you, he said oh my gosh completely a hundred percent. The stigma of mental health often keep people from asking for help. Some struggle connecting with clinical counselors, others can't afford it. We are trying to be a supplement for the day to day, trying to help the people that can't get that clinical help. For $1 a month, Jeff says users can join the iRelate network, hopefully finding the help they need and perhaps helping others like them along the way. By opening it up, maybe we can change more than just the issues here, we can do it everywhere. Now, the iRelate app isn't up and running just quite yet, but Jeff hopes to have it up and available for iPhone users as well as Android users by February. And you can find more information in the links and info section of CBSDenver.com. Reporting live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Thanks, Kelly.